let's get the latest now from our correspondent Jackie Rowland. She's live for us in Bin Jawad. Uh, Jackie, this is a, a place that was taken by Libyan fighters. What is their next move now? Well, we're literally witnessing their next move as we speak, Laura. We have, in the last five minutes, watched a huge column of weapons, men and ambulances moving forward. It's the largest convoy I've seen so far um, during this advance push towards Seat. We're talking about grad rocket launchers, a tank uh, rumbling up the road, um, buses full of fighters, and crucially ambulances as well. We've been speaking to medical staff down here. They are moving their field operations further west, um, showing really the way in which uh, towns behind us now have become so, so secure that they're moving all of their medical facilities closer to the front line. The fighting is really focused at the moment around the town of Naufalia, which is just to the west of here. The front line is approximately 20 kilometers away, and we are hearing the, the boom, the thunder, if you like, of heavy artillery um, close to the front line. Uh, Jackie, we can see behind you extraordinary uh, goings on. They're really taking their time, aren't they, to plan this attack, approaching not just from where you are, but from the West as well. I think they've learned from their mistakes. In the past, uh, Bin Jawad, three times rebel forces entered this town. Maybe they entered prematurely. Uh, they thought it was too easy, and that was because it was too easy. In fact, um, pro Gaddafi uh, fighters, loyalists, were in the town and they ambushed those Libyan fighters as they were coming. In fact, we've got more now. We have more Libyan fighters coming. You're about to see a tank, a couple of tanks. This really makes it very clear to you the extent to which these Libyan fighters are pushing all of their equipment forward now. I think what we're looking at is the preparation for not only for um, heavy fighting, but also for, as you were suggesting, uh, quite a coordinated attack um, here from the east also from the west, from fighters coming also from the town of Misrata. I mean, we are really overpowered by the noise now. It really gives you an indication of how these Libyan fighters are moving all of their weaponry up to the front line. What we're looking at is uh, their maximum effort, if you like, from the east. Also, we've been told that there is a, a front to the south as well. So the fighters in this part of the country are advancing on two fronts, and as we've been hearing from our con as we've been hearing from our colleague Andrew Simmons, um, who's been travelling with, with rebel fighters who've been moving down from Misrata to the northwest, obviously there are fighters now coming from different directions. The strategy clearly being to overwhelm the remaining. Gaddafi loyalists within the town of Seat to stretch out their defences on three fronts, quite possibly. We're also hearing from fighters here that they are anticipating, as we've seen in other big cities and as notably we saw in Tripoli uh, just under a week ago, uh, we saw the way in which a spontaneous uprising begins within the city as the people inside the city feel that the Libyan fighters are bringing their efforts and that they're close by. I mean, we always talk about Sirt as this stronghold of the Gaddafi clan, um, but Libyan fighters here are telling us that they do not believe that Sirt is 100% with Gaddafi. They are sure that there are people inside the, the, the city who support this revolution and that they will rise up and join um, this uh, effort to oust the remaining Gaddafi loyalists. So I think the convoy has just about come to an end, but I tell you, uh, literally um, dozen after dozen after dozen, quite possibly a hundred vehicles in about the last 10 minutes have driven through Bin Jawad, powering forward towards um, Naufalia, the next town across the road. Clearly what we're looking at now is moving machinery and men into place for a battle in Wadi al Ahma, the Red Valley. Um, it's believed that any Gaddafi loyalists who are retreating from this particular area could well be looking for cover in the Red Valley. So that could well be 
the next battlefield um, in this stage of the conflict. Jackie, really extraordinary scenes there, those preparations for battle. Thanks very much for persevering with the noise so you can bring them to us.